everyone. I'm Leah Spears. And I'm Amanda Tate. And we want to welcome you back to another episode of Prophecy Fulfilled. We're going to go over some more prophecies by Prophet Timothy Dixon. Listen closely as they may affect you or someone you may know. If you find our program interesting, please hit the subscribe button or give us a thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post a new video. July 3rd, 2023. China will collapse at my word, saith the Lord. July 5th, Yangtze levee broke. Thunderstorms were raging. Shandong EF4 tornado left it in shambles. It was recorded at 212 miles per hour. Killed five, injured 100, and literally tore buildings apart. Extreme devastation. 700,000 people had to be evacuated. July 6th, uprising among multitudes due to an inadequate resettlement. Dong Ting Lake collapsed, causing tons of water to flood across the lands. The hydroelectric reservoir bust, flooding four more cities. July 5th, the CCP is ordering mass home demolition despite the poor people protesting and being left homeless on the streets. Local banks in China are going bankrupt so the people are losing their money. The people are being pushed to their brink. July 6th, deadly sinkholes all over China. Heavy rains with all else till China is like the sea overnight. China's docks, warehouses, and industrial parks are deserted. The second largest lake in China, the dam burst causing urgent evacuations of thousands. Foreign investors are currently stranded due to Evergrande's web of Chinese debt. July 6th, land sales collapse. July 7th, local governments have run out of funds, so they are imposing more restrictions on the Chinese people. International companies are fleeing China. The staggering amount of $225 million in back taxes scared away an American hard disk giant. July 7th, Xiao Men's economic downfall and homeless all over the streets. July 8th, Central China, bridge collapsed due to thunderstorms and heavy flooding. Subway flooded with unstoppable muddy water. June 6, 2023, I see Etna fixing to blow again. July 5th, because of Etna, the Catania Airport closed. July 6th, Etna's eruption of ash today covered the sunlight. March 24th, 2023, Nothing is going to prosper in New York because of what they're doing against Donald Trump. Also of their stand on abortion to place no value on life to kill babies who have been born. July 7th, New York City, shoplifters have raided another Target store. November 26, 2023, Woe unto you, Italy, for your days are numbered. July 7th, Italy, Lombardy, heavy rain, strong winds, severe flooding, and landslides. July 8th, storms and hail, covered with hail in some parts of Palermo. October 17th, 2023, the earth opened and swallowed Hamas. The hole was bottomless. God had swallowed up the enemy. July 8th, just past the 11th month of the war, Israel was forced to get involved in for self-defense. From the beginning, Israel's IDF has searched out tunnel after tunnel of the enemy, Hamas, and has been able to eliminate them. Even currently in Rafa, this has been the same. God has poured out His wrath and His judgment on those who refuse to hear His voice. Prophet Dixon made this video just 10 days after the massacre on October 7th, 2023. December 30th, 2022. Uprisings in other countries. July 6th, Israel, Tel Aviv. Protesters calling for the release of the hostages. October 18th, 2022. Earth fixing a roar, earthquakes. July 7th, Japan, nearby region, a 6.2 magnitude. August 5th, 2022. This is going to be catastrophic events God's fixing to do. Hail, Canada, 5-inch hail brought much devastation. Greece, Attica, storms and hail attacked it without mercy. July 6th in Turkey, Ankara, mega hail, storm and flooding. July 7th, Australia, golf ball sized hail and high winds. Flooding July 6, Wisconsin, severe flooding. July 6, Japan, hail and flooding. Tornadoes July 6, Nebraska, Minden, tornado. July 5, Portugal, winds and flooding. June 21, 2022, economy suffers a great fall, decline. 
July 8th, massive Chase Bank branch closures. Kensworth Manufacturing of semi-trucks is laying off three to 400 in early August out of 2,500 employees. December 31st, 2022, France rejects me in Paris, you are hanging in the balances. July 7th in Paris, crowds gathered in the streets rioting following the election. It was the far left doing this. August 14th, 2021, record-breaking high temperatures. July 5th, Australia, cold temperature at night dropping below zero. North Carolina and Raleigh, 106 degrees Fahrenheit, hottest day on record ever. Arizona, Phoenix, 118 degrees Fahrenheit, record-breaking. California, Death Valley, 127 degrees Fahrenheit. Oregon, hottest day on record. July 6th, the Northern California, 111 degrees Fahrenheit. July 8th, this week in Europe, a heat wave, 40 degrees Celsius plus equals 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Global temps hit record levels for the 13th day in a row. March 25th, 2021, I'll rumble tremors throughout the USA that's never been. July 5th in Montana, Sealy Lake, a 3.9 magnitude earthquake. April 21st, 2021, sinkholes. July 3rd, a huge sinkhole on Ocean City Expressway Bridge, Route 90. Road has been reopened with one lane only. April 19th, 2021, death, fire, and hailstones on America. July 6th in Dallas, Texas, Recycling Center caught fire. April 10th, 2021, Disasters. July 6th in Greece, Wildfires across Athens and the Aegean Islands. October 17th, 2023, There has never in the history of mankind ever been events and displays of such evidence of God's power and His display of His protection on Israel. Today the earth opened up and swallowed up the people that were fighting against Israel. December 17th, a man in Pakistan was saying, We must eliminate all Jews or may the earth fall beneath me. Instantly, the earth collapsed beneath him. The entire platform and all who were standing on it went down. Simultaneously as it happened, there were strong flashes of light. And now for some wonderful testimonies. June 2nd, I asked my daughter to join me at the Oasis Church in Atoka, Tennessee. I told her we were going for prayer. She said, Yeah, Mama, I'll ride with you. We are from Memphis, Tennessee. I had been going to the doctor, but they couldn't tell me what was wrong with me. I ate once a day, and my stomach would swell and hurt. My body was retaining water. That week I had went on a fast, and the Holy Spirit told me to go see Brother Timothy's services. Well, I felt an angel stand behind me, and I asked my daughter, Does she feel it too? She said, No. The man of God walked into the sanctuary, and I began saying, Thank you, Jesus, and speaking in tongues. I told my daughter, God Almighty, speaking to the man of God. Brother Timothy said, When my wife Rose anoints you, I want you to come up. The woman of God anointed two other ladies before she anointed me. But I ran because I knew the Holy Spirit had located me. Timothy Dixon began saying I had stomach cancer and it had spread all over. I received my healing. Rose hugged me and was speaking in tongues, and I felt fire hit my belly. I began to praise and thank Master Jesus for my healing. My daughter received prayer, and the Holy Spirit was on point. My daughter and I was both crying and hugging each other. The next morning, my stomach wasn't swollen. I have childlike faith. If God has said it, then that settles it. I am healed. I told everyone. I told my family, people at the park, at Kroger, at Walmart, all of my co-workers. I am just happy Jesus cares so much about little old me, and I am grateful. Praise Master Jesus for the healing. He made me whole. I feel wonderful. Brother Dixon ministered to a woman that she was blessed, and everything in the house was blessed. She could not help but be ecstatic with joy when late Wednesday evening there was a huge double rainbow when she looked out. How great are His signs and how mighty are His wonders. Praise the Lord. If you would like to share your testimony with us, you can reach us at testimonyreport at gmail.com. Or you can send it to 1314 Westgate Parkway, Suite 5, Dothan, Alabama, 36303. We thank y'all so much for joining us. Y'all be blessed.